Hi everybody. I wanted to make a kind of short video, but um, important on signs that Santa Muerte is potentially warning you. Now, this can be for beginners, it can be for people that are already experienced and they may not know what it means. Well, I had a situation happen recently that was very, very interesting. See, I wanted to get involved with some spirits that are, well, kind of dangerous in, in a lot of cases. So what happened was, and I confirmed this through divination um, and through dreams, what happened was she sent me what they could do and what they would potentially do to me if I wasn't careful. Um, she sent me dreams that were very vulgar. And um, she. Th th this is the thing. This is why I didn't know it was her. She didn't appear in the dreams. It's almost kind of like, screw around and find out. She sent me those dreams because it's almost like they were third person. They were passive in nature. They. Um, it's almost like I was watching a movie. And um, it's almost kind of like, if you do this, this is what's going to happen if you're not careful. And then I had this ongoing anxiety like not to the point to where it was debilitating but it was just enough of a taste like like when you have way too much coffee and it was throughout the whole day so after a few days i got fed up and i was like asking her i was like Santisima muerte. is it this and this spirit doing this and then the answer was no no it's not and I was like, well, is it because of this? Is it because of that? Is it because I'm not doing this? Because I'm not doing it? I was like, no. I was like, is it you? Are you sending me this? Yes. Why are you sending me such crippling anxiety? Because I'm letting you feel what you would feel should you pursue this path in, in the method that you're, that you're choosing. So it's almost kind of like I'm giving you a taste of what could happen. And um, I was gifted this, this really beautiful life-size um, skeleton that I dressed like the epitome of what I see her as and also like a combination of me and her put together, basically. I don't know, but she radiates from it. And every time I looked at it, I felt like danger and that's not normal because every time i look at her statues i feel comfort and like loving even when i'm looking at la negra i still feel this level of stern protector nurturing tough mom you know tough spirit i won't say mom because sometimes it's masculine but um <clears throat> tough parental definitely uh, you know how some of you might have experience with Hecate? Kind of like that, but in a different way. And no, it's not Hecate, believe me. I know. I know the difference. <laughs> um, but I was feeling it for several days. And I was like, oh God, maybe it's hormonal. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I've had too much caffeine and blah, blah, blah. So I changed my diet. I did everything and it was still there. So I finally got fed up and I was like, okay, I'm going to do a cleansing. I'm going to do this. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do like divination. And sure enough, I did a o ovomancy, which is divination with the egg, not a cleansing. I just did divination with the egg and I did divination with the tarot cards and both confirmed that it was her giving me a little taste of what it would be like if I pursued the path. And sure enough, after I was done just doing that divination, it went away. I lit a candle, brought, uh, picked some roses from the yard, um, gave uh, gave drinks, gave um, you know uh, prayers and stuff like that, and it was like, yeah, it was me, and I was letting you see what you were gonna get into, so that blew my mind, and I've noticed I've noticed that a lot of people report that they go through that when La Negra steps in. The, the dark, the black robed figure of Santa Muerte. And it's not meant to hurt you. And it's not meant to make you feel trauma or anything like that. It's showing you that if you continue, you're gonna get hurt. 
you know, it, it, she, I, I've also noticed that she blocks off certain spirits from entering your path. And my friend worded it very wisely. He said, you spent years trying to build up protection with her. You spent years trying to build up barriers and walls to protect yourself from spiritual attacks. And here she is protecting you from those, from those potential harmful spirits. And you, you don't see it or you, you freak out. Like that's what she does. That's what you spent all that time doing. And she's doing her job. And, um, basically just showing me you need to approach this differently. And like, I'm not opposed to you exploring spirituality, but I am opposed to you intentionally trying to harm yourself and who knows who else. So she's like doing her job and she's just, she never ceases to amaze me. I've only been in this since 2016, but I still learn new things about her every single day. And it is true. The more time you put in, the more you get out of it. So just wanted to share that little story with you. Sorry that this was so boring. Also, happy Pride Month. <laughs> it's coming up soon. And um, just wanted to share my story with you. It's I know it's been a little while, but wanted to share that little bit of insight. So we'll see you all next time.